Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to add voiceover in Filmora X or Filmora 10, if you want to call it. I'm going to show you actually how you can add a voiceover, like if your video projects is like some movie trailer and you want to have a voiceover or you're telling a story. And this is going to show you how you can add the audio, your voice, over your video project. So be before we get going, hit the like button down below. That's the thumbs up, not the other guy. Ignore the other guy. Hit the thumbs up. Also hit the subscription button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any how-to videos that come out in the future. All right, so we want to start with open up your Filmora software. And I already have mine open. And open your project when you're in there. And I figure you guys know how to do that since you're here looking at this video. So once you're into your video project, you want to look at the timeline and see where your, your timeline marker is. That is where the audio will end up. You can move it after we're done, but just to let you know, if you want it in a certain spot, you're like, I want to have it right here, then put it in that spot if you want. It makes it a lot easier. You don't have to move it so far, and you can actually do your audio there. But to record a voiceover, put it on your video project where you want the marker to be, and then you want to go under the preview screen. You're going to go down then over to this microphone icon, and you're going to click on that. Once you have the microphone icon open, it's the record audio box. You're going to see device is the first one. Then you're going to see it says headphone microphone, which is what I'm wearing. And then the other options if you want, but I'm wearing the headphone microphone, so that's one I want to use. So we're going to click on that. And then the input is not really that important because it's just going to be audio. There's no other choice. So just leave it there. Now the mute project is kind of fun. Um, this is if you want to hear your video while you're doing your voiceover. So if it's unchecked, when you hit record, it's you're going to hear your video going at the same time. So you'll hear whatever's back. So if you had really cool music and you're doing kind of like a cool voiceover, you might want to unmute the project so you can actually hear the music so you can really get into your your voiceover. Now, if you don't want to hear your video project and you just want to focus on what you're, you're saying, then I would mute it. Most of the time I mute it because I don't have any dramatic music in this. So that's how you're going to do it. So check mark that or don't if you want to hear the sound. Now, when you're ready, once you have these three set, at least these two main ones set, you're going to go to the red button in the middle, which is obviously record. And then we'll do a sample one here. So we're going to hit record. And now it's three, two, one. Now we're recording. So you see down on the time down here, you're going to notice it's recording my voice right now. You can't see anything else. It's just listening to me and it's going over the video. And now once I'm done, the end, we're going to stop the button, hit the stop button. And you see it appear down below. That's what we recorded. And I'm going to say, okay, because I don't want to record anymore. So I'm okay. It goes away. And this is our audio. So now that our audio is on the timeline, I can move it up to this. I want to move it up. So this is our new audio. So if you go back here, we can hit play. Now we're recording. Now you see, see it, and you can hear the background noise too, but it records what I just said. Now, if you want to do any adjustments to the recording or move it, to move this to any place you want, you can hold, go right here where your mouse is just the pointer and hold down the left mouse, mouse button and move this to wherever you want. You can move it all over the place, but you can move it to where you want it. It's kind of easy to move. Now, if you want to do some editing on the, the like this the volume that's easy you go to that line right there and you see a hand you might just see two arrows hold your left mouse down and you can drop the volume or bring the volume up so once you do that but you also can double click this box and it brings up the audio options which is the way i like to get to my audio options i know you can you can actually do this right click on the box and then it says show properties and that's basically where we are so but i do the double Double click on the box, it brings it up right away. So once you're in here, oops, I gotta be on the right thing, there you go. You can do a fade in, you can do a fade out, you can do, you can work on the equalizers. Some of you might know what that is, some of you may not, but it uh, helps like, I had an echo on one of my videos, there's an echo sound in the background, the equalizer helps you fix that kind of stuff. You might have to study that a little bit more, we'll do another video on that one in the future. So you can do, and they have default ones for you in this software, which is really nice. Um, they'll, but we're just going to keep it at the default. You can do all these other fun things. So basically, you can mess around with this a little bit. Um, we can do this. This is also the volume switch. So you don't have to do it on the little um, audio box down here. You can actually grab this and lower the audio down or pull the audio up right in that spot. And then balance it, stuff like that. So that's that's basically what you're looking at.
And that's actually how you add a voiceover to your video project in Filmora X. So that's how you do it. Very simple, but get in there, do some of that. Hey, if you have any cool um, videos that you did a voiceover, share it down below. I'd love to go check them out. That'd be awesome to see those, see how, what you guys do. And um, that's it, guys. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com. Uh, where all, all our articles are and make sure to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching